Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and today I'm going to do an Ipsy unbagging. So this month for May, it's really pretty. It has this glitter. It reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. The way the texture and the, the look of it, super pretty. And the little zipper has a little tassel on it. Okay, so this is the card in this month's bag. I guess it's, what is it? Like, keep your head in the clouds. And it shows me the products I got. I'm going to try to go in order. Okay, this is really cool. I got... SL Miss Glam Blending Brush. I don't know if you guys ever heard of her, but she is on YouTube. Um, she has the most beautiful makeup room. Sorry if you hear my cat stepping on stuff. She's like stepping on plastic and crunching it. But anyways, um, I believe her name is Stephanie. She's on YouTube. She has the most beautiful makeup collection and makeup room. It is so beautiful. She has lots of pinks and like light blues and light greens. It's her videos are incredible. She's a new mother of twins as well. So I really like watching her. I will try to link her down below. So if you never heard of her, you could check her out. But she does have a brush collection and her brushes are kind of expensive. I looked them up. But they're the cutest things ever. Like this one has little glitter. And it also has like two little stones. I did use this today. Right before I filmed this. And I thought this was really nice. Some blending brushes. Like I don't like it when they're too flimsy. This one was perfect. It wasn't too flimsy. But it wasn't too stiff either. And it was soft at the same time. But not too soft. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. But... It's, and I usually like to read, like, the tips, what it says. It says to create a smoky eye, start with a neutral shade all over your lids. Then use this brush to blend a dark shadow shade into and slightly past your eye crease. I don't know. I think it's kind of nice that they have little tips. The next one is a bronzer by the Beauty Crop. The bronzer is in Sardinia Sand. I've never heard of this brand. This is like a sample. It's kind of like a holographic design. And I did use the bronzer. I thought it was nice. It actually reminds me of Too Faced, the um, Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzers. It's a very neutral shade. And it, it appears to be a matte bronzer. So that's nice. Nice for summer coming up. And then, this is super cool. I got the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in Enchanting. And it's a full size. I'm not sure how much these cost, but I'm assuming it's over the $20 mark. And this whole bag is $10. So, that is really cool. I did wear this. It's like a pink iridescent shade um I don't think this would be for everybody I think maybe if you put it over a lipstick I think it might be cool my cat this is my cat little one all over me <laughs> all right so and what does the tip say wear it alone on bare lips or on top of your fave lipsticks with it to create your own unique shade and then what else is next? Oh, we got the Insta Free Pore Clearing Clay Mask with Super Volcano Clusters. Super cute packaging, I think. It says direction after cleansing, apply onto dry face, avoiding the eye and lip area. And after 10 minutes, gently massage with fingertips while rinsing off with lukewarm water one to two times a week so this is cool 
I know when you do Ipsy, you can take a quiz and you put like your what kind of skin type you have, like concerns. Um, you could put if you like like neutral shades, and you also put your hair color, your skin tone, like your eye color and stuff in Ipsy. I think they Ipsy does a pretty good job at choosing products that you would like. This bag is actually my 13 year old daughter's, but she lets me do you know show it on YouTube. So my daughter has like oily, you know, the teen acne prone skin. So they usually put these types of products, which I think is really good. Ugh, my cat is all over me. All right, all right, later, later we'll cuddle. And last we have the Gardenia hand cream. And it's in like one of those metal type tubes. And what is the tip? Massage a pea-sized amount on, of this cream into your hands, giving a little extra TLC to your cuticles. My hands are super dry. I work in a kitchen at a nursing home, and I do dishes. I know it's not the most glamorous job, but hey, I make a living. So... My hands and fingernails are very dry and damaged. It smells really nice. I love gardenia. Um, it's very like florally, but it's not too overpowering. This will be really nice. And I like that it's a small size to like throw in your purse or your pocket or whatever. So yes, this was May's bag. If you get Ipsy, I would love to know what you got in your Ipsy bag. And, or if you even, if you upgraded. I said it in my last unbagging, I'm not upgrading because I get BoxyCharm. And I also get BoxyLux. And if I upgrade to the Glam Box for Ipsy, it's like $25 a month, but you no longer receive the bag. And this is what my daughter loves. She loves getting, she loves collecting these bags and she likes little, getting little sample items. And I don't want to do the $25 a month for the glam box and an additional $10 for the bag. It just, it all adds up. So that's why I'm not doing it. But I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday here. It's rainy and gloomy and chilly and cold. I'm wearing sweats right now. Um, I plan on doing like a pack with me or like what makeup I'm packing for my weekend in Boston. I'm going to Boston, Massachusetts next, this coming up weekend. I'm super excited. And I also really want to try to do a Boston vlog. I'm not sure if I'll be able to figure it out. If I can't, I'll do like a slide, picture slideshow. So, we'll see how it goes. Alright, have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Bye.